Hi, everybody. It's day four. Can you believe this? We're almost there. It's close. So um, I'm going to share a little screen with you here. And um, before I get us started on the lesson, <clears throat> I was thinking about how, um, how, you know, when we have a Thursday during the regular school year, it's so exciting because that means it's almost Friday. So you're nearly there. You're nearly there. Um, this isn't going to be a super long lesson today, but it's going to be centered around grammar again. Now, I didn't really go into a lot of details of your grammar lesson on parts of speech because um, the uh, brain pop has a lot more um, explanation with it. And I thought it would just let that work on um, helping you with reviewing your parts of speech. But um, boy, do you feel like this guy today? <laughs> now that's an interesting position. I don't know how many of you can do that. Some of you are pretty flexible. All right, so um, clauses. Every sentence is made up of one or more clauses because a clause is any description of someone or something putting action together. And it has a subject and a predicate. Um, a clause can be um, dependent, meaning it doesn't have a complete thought, but it can have a subject and a verb in it or a subject and a predicate. So you might remember that there are types of clauses such as those two, at least. Um, so today what I'm going to have you do is watch a review video on it. And uh, the links are all in RenWeb. Your classroom, Google Classroom um, code is in there, as well as um, how to get to this one. So this is um, the um, English grammar clauses video that you're going to watch and um, gave you a login information so you can get in there. And then after you do that, um, you're going to have a few other things to do. These are short and they're easy, but they're really good reinforcers. And I do have a Google Doc that's attached to your Google Classroom. And it has the same links here as you're seeing on your screen. So you're not going to need to go back to this video and look at it again and try to copy and paste. It'll be on that doc. And um, so the next thing after the video, you're going to do the vocabulary practice on clauses to just review which clauses they're talking about and get familiar with that vocabulary. And then you're going to have a worksheet that you'll open up on terms and uh, you will practice with that. Then you'll have a graphic organizer where you're gonna have to find clauses that match the term and write them in. And then lastly is a review quiz on the terms. All right, so um, this is what I'm gonna have you do for your assignment after you've done all this practice. You're gonna bring this to your Q&A meeting on Friday. I want you to get a, a piece of paper out um, and you can write large, if you're gonna be able to be at the Q&A, this is particularly important, you can make it a really large sentence so I can we can read it on the camera. And you're gonna read it to us aloud too, but you're gonna create a sentence that has a dependent clause and an independent clause. And the topic that I want you to write it on has to be about companies such as um, Ford is one of them. Uh, Ford, you know, create, makes cars. I don't know if you saw um, Ford versus Ferrari. That was a good movie. But um, Ford, of course, the car making deal right now is slow because of everything happening with the economy. So they're making the best of it and they're making a ton of ventilators and all kinds of shields for medical personnel um, to help supply hospitals, which is great. But I want you to put together a sentence that has a dependent clause and an independent clause about that specifically. It has to be about that topic. Um, if you can write it in Sharpie or dark ink so we can see it on the screen and share it in the Q&A, that would be nice. 
Um, and in addition to that, I want you to email me your sentence, just a quick email. The sentence is due on Friday. And don't forget your uh, self-generated joke and meme is due on Friday as well. Remember they can't be from the internet or from a book or some other source. It has to be from you, it has to be created from you. So have a good Thursday today and I will see you at the Q&A time. Take care. All right.